Hi there, I'm Vicky Parfano. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing some bleeding blocks of watercolour and finishing them with some gold Lumiere paint. So I'm starting with some Fabriano Artistico watercolour paper, some low tack artists tape, which I've taped to my table. And I have this gorgeous mop, which I'm going to be using for the painting. And this is by Fumui. It comes in the most beautiful box. And I'm going to be using my Windsor and Newton Professional watercolours. Sit back and relax while I pop on some music and I'll be back to talk later. Enjoy.
finished painting all of those blocks I'm just going to come back in with the permanent sap green because that's almost dissolved into all those other colors but I'm loving the way the colors are granulating I'm getting some beautiful bleeds and blooms in the blocks which is exactly where I was going with this now the two blocks that I painted first I felt their color was a little light and they weren't really reacting too much to the colors next to them. So I've brought in some more lemon yellow and I'm activating that alizarin crimson next to it with some more water. And I'm just mopping up some of that green that has bled down into the bottom blocks. pulling it out with a dry brush so the water doesn't pool in one spot and tapping in a bit more of the green I like that green division between the two colors and finally I'm coming back to that very first block and adding another layer of color and it activating with the water around each of those colors next to it so I can have more bleeds happening from those first two colours that I laid down. 
bringing in a little more opera rose and allowing that to bleed. And that's pretty much all the painting completed. Now it's just time to do some fine tuning and to dry it off. Now I'm bringing in the Lumiere gold paint. This is the most beautiful gold colour. You need to give it a good shake because all the mica in the paint will have uh, settled on the bottom. So I'm just going to shake it up and down to make sure that mica is separated and start painting over the top of these blocks. Now they're completely dry. I have a really small liner brush with a tiny tip on it. It's an inexpensive brush. And I have my beautiful Princeton brush, which I really love working with. I love these Princeton brushes. And I'm going to not add too much water to this. Just make sure I'm getting a nice line and do some expressive mark making. I love this part of the exercise. There's such a sense of freedom.
I will walk this world, will walk this world with you. so much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.